So does your upper back feel locked up and tight and it just feels like it needs to be released? In this video, I'm going to show you how in a three-part step-by-step guide. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe here at Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. I have a lot of patients that come in with upper back muscle spasms and pain complaints. And what I'm going to share with you has helped many of them get more motion in their upper backs and help eliminate muscle spasms, cramps, and tightness. It's really easy to do, doesn't take much time, and can be done at home. So let's get started and get feeling better right now. So with the first part of the guide, we're going to focus on loosening up the muscles in the upper back, and we're going to do that through stretching. I'm going to show you three easy movements. So with the first one, we're going to focus on a muscle group called the rhomboids. The rhomboids attach the spine to the shoulder blade region. They're responsible for bringing the shoulders backwards, so retracting the shoulders. How they get strained is from a lot of forward posture. So think using cell phones, sitting at the desk, driving. It's a very common posture today, and it's commonly known as text neck, nerd neck, or text neck. So with this stretch, what we're going to do is put our arms completely straight, so we're gonna keep the uh, arms straight at the elbow, and then lock the knuckles together. The movement is drawing forward even more. So you can kind of see how my arms are just going forward while I keep my hips and everything locked. What this does is it should feel like the shoulder blades in the back are starting to open and that muscle that connects from the spine to those shoulder blades is starting to get stretched a little bit. That would be the rhomboids. So I like to hold this position for about 15 to 30 seconds. I then come back to my starting position and then do it again for about three to five times. A good way to modify this stretch is to do an arc with it. And what I mean by that is go back to this position right here and do that stretch, come back, but the next time that you do it, go just a little bit lower and then do that same stretch, just like that. And then I just keep going lower with it until I'm all the way towards the floor. And when you do this stretch, you want your head to follow your hands all the way down. And why I like to do that is because it ends up hitting the upper back muscles just a little bit differently each time that you go down with it. So with the second stretch, we're going to focus on the trapezius muscles. That's that muscle that's right up here and kind of goes right up into the neck. That one is responsible for lifting the shoulders up. So again, if we're constantly leaning forward, it's going to strain those muscles, especially into the upper back and shoulder region. So this stretch is a two-part process. The first part, just lift the shoulders up, shrug them up towards the ears as much as you can. And then the second part is bringing the shoulders backwards. This one, you're trying to pinch the shoulder blades in the back. So again, shoulders up, and then we're going to bring them back to try to pinch those shoulder blades in the back. It's just a really good one to be able to target that trapezius muscle. I like to hold this one 15, 30 seconds, relax, do them about three to five times. So for the third stretch, we're going to sit in a chair. This one is going to target all the upper back muscles, including the rhomboids and the trapezius muscles. It's really easy, so let's give this one a try. So sit with good upright posture, just like this, and then put your hands behind your head and then wing the elbows out. So this would be the starting position. And then from there, you're going to lean forward while bringing the elbows together. And then come back up and then wing those elbows out while you put the back into extension. So you're trying to get a backwards bend. And that's the movement. And what that's going to do is help open the upper back and reduce a lot of muscle tightness. Again, hold for about 15 to 30 seconds relax, and then do it three to five times. So the second part of this guide, we're going to focus on the muscle knots and spasms in the upper back. And we're going to use a tennis ball to help self-massage those out. So I'm going to find the spot that I'm having a lot of issues with. Like let's say that I have a big muscle knot right here in my upper back. I'm going to take the tennis ball, I'm going to put it over that spot, and then just slowly lean against a wall until I start to put a good amount of pressure in there. Don't go to the point where you're causing discomfort, just a good amount of pressure. And then from there, use your body weight to make circular motions to really just massage that spasm out. And you can do this for a couple minutes at a time or until you feel that muscle not release. And you can also do this lean on the floor. Again, just take the tennis ball, put it over the spot that has the spasm, and then just roll it out. 
So for the final part of the guide, we're going to focus on relaxation of the muscle, and we're going to do that through heat therapy. So just grab your favorite gel pack, beanbag one that you throw in the microwave, or a plug-in electric heating pad, and just put over the spot that's tight and tender, and let that sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. With heat therapy, you want to limit it to about 15 to 20 minutes, otherwise you can actually cause more soreness and stiffness in the area. So just put it over the spot, 15, 20 minutes, and that's it. So with this step-by-step -step guide, it should help tackle stubborn muscle knots and spasms and get you feeling a lot of relief. If you're still having issues, make sure to make an appointment with your local chiropractor to have it looked at. Also, if you liked the video and got some relief, please show us your support by giving the video a like and maybe subscribing to our channel too. And please let us know in the comments section how they work for you. We appreciate it and thanks for watching.